Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you what analog delay does inside Adobe Audition. Okay, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit like and also subscribe. Ding the bell so you never miss another audio production tutorial. Here we are in Adobe Audition with a straightforward read here. Tip of the week. From Nathan on our wonderful Music Radio Creative website. And if I go into effects and then go to delay and echo and look for analog delay. This is really cool. By default, it just kind of tip, tip of, the, of week. the week. It gives you a bit of a slap back echo there in the background, which is pretty cool. Some crazy presets like 50 slap back. Tip, tip of, the of the week. Kind of muffles the... things up, which is really good. Loads of cool stuff here. Robot voice. Tip, tip of, the of the week. Where it kind of pulls the delay right down and you can increase the delay, obviously. Tip of the week. And we've got trash going on there. We can increase the spread. Tip of the week. And we can change to tape or tube or analog. Tip of the week. To get a different kind of sound. Increase the feedback. Tip of the week. So we can get a continual analog delay there. Uh, we can also increase uh, the wet out if we want it to be louder, the echo. Tip of the week. Like that. And of course, bring the dry down. Tip of the week. Uh, so you've got all those options there. Now, obviously, bringing the dry down then gives us uh, an echo that obviously has more of a uh, echo rather than the original voice. Obviously, I'm working in mono here, so it would be good actually to convert this. Let's convert the sample type to be stereo. Click OK, and then you'll see how it'll work if we go into effects, delay and echo, analog delay, and you can see on both sides it's doing stuff with a spread it out, increases the stereo spread, Bring it down to zero. Uh, jelly phone. Let's try that. Tip of, Tip the, of week. the week. Pretty cool. So really nice round robin delay as well. Tip of the week. It just keeps coming round. Tip of the week. Every 1.8 seconds. This could be good for matching to the beat of a track or something like that. Analog delay has so many uses to either make tight slapback delays or to go on the beat of a song continually inserted in the multi-track somehow. It really is a good feature in Adobe Audition. I definitely use it from time to time in my productions. If you'd like to know more about this kind of stuff, my courses are open now. I have an audio production course available at mrc.fm forward slash learn.